that out. Do you want to plug that in? Yep. It's more likely just yeah. you can place it anywhere, wherever you want to space. Yeah, yeah. So as you see, even here, you can see, guys, there's already Velcro on here, which you guys can use. Uh, cool. All right, so that's on. I'm going to turn this on. Luckily, these have already been paired. So the way that this works is your, your number here is your channel. So this is the channel that you're going on. You go to 0 to 15, and the same on the motor. So you basically just need to ma make sure they're matched. If they're not, there's a couple of ways you can change it. So on here, you can actually do it in the menu sometimes. You can't now, apparently, for some reason. And let's go to wireless, uh, 2.4G, and then just go down here. And then this is where you can change your channel on here. Um, I'd recommend just changing the channel on here because it's a lot more, it's less fiddly doing on here than it is on there. Um, but here is where you can change your channel. It's on 14, so I'll leave it on that. Um, here you've got mode, so this is basically just saying how much signal you want to output or res output from um, here. Um, I don't really know why you'd want to put it on anything other than max, but if the option is there, I guess maybe even if you're in an art gallery and they're really sensitive about signals, you can do that. Um, but just by default, make sure it's on H max and you get the most range. Um, cool. So once that's then um, paired, what you need to do is calibrate it. So the calibration. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to basically um, input where infinity is on the focus and close focus is. So it knows where the, basically the lens uh, is, in position is um, in relative terms to where your focus wheel is. And every time you change a lens or every time you turn the camera off or at least the, monitor, at least the motors, you need to recalibrate. Um, it might still work, currently it's not, but it might still work even if it haven't recalibrated, but what will happen is your focus marks will be off or not correct because it will have lost where everything is supposed to be. So what you need to do is you need to calibrate it. So there's this little button on the back that says Cal, and you're going to hold that down. And it's going to give you an option to calibrate all, which is either all motors or just one motor, but obviously you've only got one motor, and then it's just going to do this really slowly. And this part is usually the time when you'll see your motor come off. When it gets to the end, it will just pop off sometimes, so just be careful with that. Most of the time when we are calibrating, we'll just hold this just to make sure everything's, uh, not, everything's staying in place. Um, and then once it's done, you're ready to go. And it's as simple as that. Most of the times it's as simple as that anyway. Again, mm -hmm. yeah. Do we have any sensitive control for this, or it's just uh, normal? <clears throat> it's just normal. The only settings you can change, I'll show you in a second, are the torque settings, so how much, okay. how much torque you want to output. Okay. Um, how much was? Talk, talk, talk. How fast it moves. Oh, oh, How much yeah, pushing yeah. Um, okay. energy you want to give it. Um, what was I saying before? Yeah, so most of the time it's like this, but again, please test this rig, uh, put everything together, make sure this is working before you go and shoot, because there might be an issue with it or anything like that from the last person who's had it, or the EHD haven't picked up that it was broken. So many good things. Again, we just saw that right now it's not working. Okay, why is it not working? Let's sort it out. You need to do that before it use. Um, cool. All right, let's go into the menu quickly. So in here, I wouldn't go through any of this, I don't really even know this. You all you want to do is go to 2.4G when you want to go and change the, the actual, um, the actual uh, signal um, number. If we go back, I'm going to go to motor. Here is if I, if I do have more than one motor, or my motor for some reason is linked to a different dial, this is where I need to change it. So I go into focus, um, and I want to say, I want to go to sync. And I want to say that motor one, which should be this number foot, your number one motor, is my focus motor. Um, you can can change it around here, so you can make it mo motor two, motor three, whichever motor you set up to be using, um, you can change that. Um, to define which motor is doing what, I'll show you in a second, but you can change basically the, num the motor number on here. Um, but by default, it should be motor one. Motor one is the focus. Um, if you go to direction... Um, you might find that the direction of this might be wrong for you, so you might want it to be going to, I don't know, uh, infinity when you twist it that way, so you can switch it around, whichever one feels more uh, comfortable for you. And then you've also got torque. Currently it's on high, usually it's left on high, that's purely so that if you have a lens, again, as I said, that can't turn very easily, you'll need to ump this up or make it higher up, because otherwise it will, it will either not be able to turn the motor at all, or it will get to a certain part of the motor and think, oh, it's the end of the lens, and it's not actually the end of the lens, it's just because that, that lens is very stiff. Um, the only reason why I want to put it down is that sometimes 
if I go all the way to the end, it might just smack the end of the um, lens, and that can obviously damage it, so you might want to turn it down. Um, there's no other reason really I can think of you don't want to turn it down, um, but yeah, that's the torque for you, and it's just purely the pushing power that it has and not the speed.